Hey guys, what is up? This is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a rounded rectangle mask just like this one in Adobe Premiere Pro so that you can use it on top of any screen record. If you're making explainer type of video, you can use the same effect on top of your video. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So this is the project that I am going to use for this demonstration. This is the face cam video and this is the screen record, right? First, let's bring this screen record here on that timeline then place it so this is the screen record you can just adjust the screen record so that it fit properly here right now i want to place my face cam video here and i want to have a rounded rectangle mask so this is the face cam video i can click and drag it here i can extend it maybe this much okay let's adjust the usable portion maybe from here i will start the video and i will use this much so this is our face cam video and this is our screen record right so now i want to make a rounded rectangle mask so that when i'm explaining about the screen record or whatever i'm showing it shows beneath my face cam video right so let's select the video we have to use two separate effect to do that you can use this one which is the opacity mask you can click here on the create four point polygon mask and then you can take your pointer here on this corner and press shift key on your keyboard then you can just click and drag it to make a even mask but there is a problem you will not able to make a rounded rectangle here right so to do that we'll use crop effect and because we are going to animate the thing so this method will not work so let's go here on this effects panel if you don't see effects panel then you have to go to window and from here you have to enable effects panel this one right then search for effect which is crop you have to click and drag or you can double click here to apply the effect on top of your video then you have to go here on this effects control panel if you don't see effects control panel you have to go again window then enable effects control this one then this panel will appear so the thing is i want to use the animation effect when it is cropping to my face cam how you can do that first let's make a simpler version how you can actually crop to crop any video you have to go here on this effects control panel select the crop effect and if you select it you can just click and drag this section to crop the video right just like this and now you can adjust the cropping portion just like that again if you don't want to use this method what you can do you can go here on this effects control panel you can manually adjust the cropping from this section right just like that because we are going to animate this crop effect we have to add keyframe on the beginning portion of my video i want to make a crop effect and i want to scale down the video and i want to change the position so i have to add three different keyframe right for position for a scale and for crop so let's go to at the beginning of my video and then if i go here on the motion i can add a keyframe for position then i can add a keyframe for a scale and now i can add a keyframe for maybe left top right and bottom keyframe then you can press shift and arrow key or you can just press the space bar to go a little bit forward now you can change the scale you can change the crop this thing will be recorded so whenever you are playing back these changes will be applied so i want to crop it just like that and maybe i want to crop a little bit from the down and i want to change the position maybe here and again i want to scale it down a little bit this much right so if i place it here i want to increase the size a little bit maybe this much i can place it here just like that so this is the video that we have already made if i play it back you will see the cropping effect is happening so it's looking pretty cool right but the problem is we are not able to make rounded rectangle okay. using this crop effect so we have to add rounded rectangle manually so how we can do that again go to at the beginning of your video and search for roughen is r o u g then this effect will appear you have to click and drag it on top of your face cam right now you have to scroll down here on this effects control panel if you 
go at the bottom section you'll see this is the effect that we have applied so i want to make a rounded rectangle i'll just go to our second keyframe which is this one now i will add cut from this section if you just click here on this edge type you can select cut and now you can increase the border you can increase the sharpness and you can decrease all the things that is beneath the edge sharpness which is fractal influence then you can decrease the scale you can decrease whatever it is right here you can see the border is not sharp right you can increase the border a little bit to make it more rounded and then you can increase the scale if you increase the scale then you see the border of our rectangle is very sharp so that is the effect that we have already achieved now you can just click here on this border section and then edge sharpness and then scale and then get back here now you can just reset it if i play it back now you'll see so we are getting a rounded rectangle crop effect here and it is also animating right again if i play it back very cool so if you don't want to do this again and again you can make a preset so how you can make a preset you have to select the effect so we have used motion then we have used crop then we have used rough and edge right so this is the three effect that we have used and then right click here save as preset give it a name i want to name it gems crop then you have to select anchor to in point so that whenever we are applying on top of any video that is not already keyframed then it will apply the effect from the beginning right so click here so if you want to apply this effect again on any video just click and drag this video on your timeline then go to effects panel then go to your preset folder which is this one then just click and drag this effect on top of your video now if you play it back you'll see the crop effect is there so you can use it again and again very easily so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye